Today on Game Finds, a crescendo to the ears. We take a look at a collection of unique games and peripherals that invoke the musician in every gamer. Stick around as we conduct a symphony of images and sounds that is sure to be our magnum opus. <laughs> In today's gaming culture, it's near impossible to have not experienced at least one music-related title. Whether it be Activision's Guitar Hero, Harmonix Rock Band, or even Nintendo's own Donkey Konga, or Rhythm Heaven. These games are considered to be of the music rhythm genre, in which players must sync their actions to that of the on-screen prompts. Some games allow you to use the native controller to the system, while others utilize a more stylized approach that mimics real-life instruments. Today we take a look at a few unique finds within this niche genre. Wii Music Revealed at the 2008 Electronic Entertainment Expo, Nintendo's Wii Music presented a unique take on the genre. A completely new IP, the title was part of Nintendo's ongoing Touch Generations campaign, which already included many popular titles such as the Brain Teaser Brain Age, the ever so cuddly Nintendogs, and another unique music rhythm title with a zany presentation, Elite Beat Agents. Many were anxious to see what the Big N had to offer, with rumors that it would provide competition to the other well-established titles of the genre. The premise was exciting, with the ability to use the Wiimote and Nunchuck to play over 60 unique instruments, more than any other music game to date, which mostly offered 3 to 4. These instruments included the guitar, violin, flute, maracas, and many others. Players could even immerse themselves further by using the balance board to play the drums. 50 songs were packed in, including a few of Nintendo's own incredible themes from its most popular IPs. Furthermore, Nintendo's iconic Miis were the in-game avatar, which until then had only been utilized in a handful of games like Wii Sports. What everyone had seen up until E3 had them salivating for the chance to conduct an orchestra to the Legend of Zelda and Super Mario Bros. themes. However, when the tantalizing title was finally showcased at E3, this is what gamers were treated to. Considered to be one of Nintendo's most cringeworthy presentations, Wii Music was met with less than enthusiastic reception, as the E3 demo left a permanent scar on the title. While Nintendo promoted the game as an easy to pick up and play title where you simulated the motions of the instrument, it was quickly called out as a gimmick with poor gesture translation and uninspired presentation. To add insult to injury, when released to retailers, Wii Music's song list was mostly public domain songs like Yankee Doodle and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Selling 2.65 million copies worldwide, it wasn't a total flop, but is certainly not considered Nintendo's finest moment in the limelight. If you manage to nab your own easily obtainable copy of Wii Music, you can expect to get an incredible $5 complete in box or a whopping $11 brand new. Guitar Praise Amidst the heyday of the Guitar Hero craze, this game sought to provide a family-friendly alternative to the guitar-centric titles. Developed and published by Digital Praise in 2008, the gameplay was very akin to that of Activision's Guitar Hero, with the main difference being the display of the 3D model avatars. With a focus on contemporary Christian music, Guitar Praise was released with 52 songs, and subsequent releases of expansion packs provided another 50 to broaden the roster. Tracks came from many popular Christian artists like Newsboys, Petra, Skillet, Toby Mac, and Casting Crowns. 
While the title didn't hit the three major gaming consoles at the time, it was released to PC and Mac, and provided a wireless guitar for hands-free gameplay. It was well received to market succeeding sales expectations, which allowed for later expansions, and was even commended by non-Christian outlets. Said Tracy Johnson of MTV's Multiplayer Game Review, Guitar Praise is no doubt a slick and surprisingly competent Guitar Hero knockoff aimed at the game-playing Christian market. Digital Praise seems to embrace that fact instead of trying to reinvent the music game genre. The only negatives against the title was that it didn't support the gaming peripherals of the Guitar Hero franchise and wasn't released to major consoles, but it has since been noted by Digital Praise that this was due to budgetary constraints of the time. Guitar Praise is indeed a fresh alternative to the punk rock style of the other major music rhythm series and holds up very well even today. Complete in box, Guitar Praise can go for an average of $25, while new it can net between $40 to $50. Easy Piano DS Undoubtedly one of the more interesting titles I've found in the wild, Easy Piano DS has no qualms with providing true-to-life controls. While the presentation is familiar with rolling staff notes, the player can elect to use a stylus to input keys or use the packed-in fully functional keyboard. The accessory plugs into the bottom of the DS and is an incredibly versatile input device. The game recognizes every key as a unique entry meaning rather than 4 or 5 buttons, you actually have 13. While this may seem intimidating, the title does provide tutorials and learning tools to get you accustomed to the mini keyboard, along with varying difficulties. The game presents the different keys and their meanings, which will in turn hopefully translate to the real-life counterpart. There is a nice range of songs, ranging from classical such as Moonlight Sonata, anthems like Star Spangled Banner, and modern pop hits such as Material Girl. As you learn to play the Easy Piano accessory, you can even unlock additional modes and songs. While a very cool and innovative game, it does unfortunately ruin the portable nature of the DS. It is possible to carry the accessory, however it is uncomfortable and unwieldy. That shouldn't detract from checking out this unique game, if only just for the sake of experiencing its charm for yourself, as this is definitely a unique entry on the Nintendo DS console. Complete in box, Easy Piano can fetch $15, while new, it can average $25. I'm Retro Mackies, and thanks so much for watching. If you like this episode, please subscribe and remember to hit the like button. This allows us to continue to bring you new and interesting episodes. Feel free to check out these other videos from the Game Bites, Game Finds, and Gameplay series. Thanks always for your continued support, and remember to always check back for new episodes on the Retro Mackies channel. God bless, take care, and see you on the next find.